Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ziad, Crohn's disease patient, NHS worker and educator, here bringing you IBD facts and taboo breaking chats. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to this lesson all about vaccinations and IBD. So firstly, we need to understand the importance of vaccinations and what they are. So a vaccine is a type of medicine that teaches the body's immune system to recognize new infections so it can fight them off in the future. They are an important part of human health as they provide protection to diseases and in some cases can eradicate or make some diseases very rare with examples such as smallpox, polio and tetanus, which used to kill millions of people. There are two types of vaccines, so you can have an active or a live vaccine, and these are vaccines that contain a weakened version of the substance that causes that disease and provides long-term protection against it. Or you can have an inactive or dead vaccine. These contain a killed version of the substance that causes that disease. They are not as effective as live vaccines, which is why it is recommended to have boosters after a certain period of time to make sure they still provide a good level of protection. Regardless of which one you get, they both work in the same way, by teaching the immune system how to create antibodies against the disease they are designed to protect against. This is a safer way for your immune system to learn which antibodies are needed to protect against certain diseases. Those who are on medication that weakens the immune system, there are concerns about having a live vaccine due to the possibility of that weakened pathogen in the vaccine being reactivated fully and causing an infection. The risk of this happening will be dependent on the type of vaccine, type of medication, dose of medication, how long you've been on that medication for, and how much of your immune system it has weakened. Sometimes before having a vaccine, a washout period of up to three months is usually recommended to be able to have the live vaccines once immunosuppressants have been stopped. And it is recommended to wait for up to a month after having the live vaccine before restarting medication. So looking at the first vaccine in this lesson, we're going to look at Mycobacterium avium subspecies paratuberculosis or MAP. This is a type of bacteria that causes a form of IBD called Jones disease, which affects animals and domesticated livestock. Research has suggested that milk from infected herd contain MAP, which is not always killed off by pasteurization. It's thought that MAP impairs the permeability of the gut, allowing organisms such as bacteria, viruses and yeasts into the gut, causing an immune response and possibly leading to Crohn's disease in humans. King's College in London is currently researching MAP and developing an anti-MAP vaccine which is aimed to prevent and treat Crohn's disease with studies showing that the MAP vaccine is effective in animals. Anti-MAP therapy involves taking a course of antibiotics that are designed to target MAP for many months to clear MAP from the body. There have been some promising results from studies showing that those of Crohn's disease are able to go into remission. However, the results are only of small studies and require further expert review. More recently is the coronavirus vaccine. So this vaccine provides protection against COVID-19. There are different types of COVID-19 vaccines made by different manufacturers, so Moderna, Oxford, AstraZeneca and Pfizer BioNTech. And even though they are made differently, they still do the same thing, which is provide protection from COVID-19. Other vaccinations that can be had with IBD include the influenza vaccine, chickenpox and shingles, pneumococcal vaccine, the HPV vaccine, meningitis B and hepatitis B vaccine. So to summarise, we've looked at the importance of vaccines, the type of vaccines there are, how some of these vaccines work and what vaccinations you can have in IBD.